Welcome to Rehash. On the internet, we're old news. It's old news. We bring you the best and worst of what's happening today. My name is Demanic, and welcome to Rehash. Thank you so much to Demanic who provided our intro. If you'd like to be awesome like him, link in the description where you can find a link where you can give us your intro and That's stuff. It, yeah. yeah. So today we got a lot to talk about, so we're gonna try to do it very quickly. Let's go, come on. All right. So I wanted to talk really quickly about Lady Baby. Oh. It's just proof that all weird stuff comes from Japan. Well, speaking of babies, I wanted to talk about the youngest shoplifter ever. Speaking of breaking laws, oh. I wanted to talk about how Time Warner Cable now owes a woman over $200,000 because they spammed her cell phone. All right, speaking of money, I wanted to talk about PewDiePie making a video about how much money he made last year. It's almost like we planned oh, this. But we did it, though. <laughs> First story comes hot off the presses from Reuters, saying that a woman is now owed $225,000. Too much money. A lot of money yeah. because she was receiving these robocalls from Time Warner Cable. She called them. She said, yo, bro, broseph, broski, <laughs> stop calling me. Yeah. They ignored her. So then she took them to court. And then the, the courts said, well, they didn't really have a way to know. Sorry. She continued receiving these calls nonstop and continuously. She took them back to court and won $225,000 because... Dun, dun, dun. Oh. After the first lawsuit, they had to know that she wasn't that dude. And they kept doing it. Exactly. All right, and then you had a story. I want to talk about the youngest shoplifter in existence. So, uh, dad, I would assume it's it's her dad. He went to the store to actually buy a TV. Okay. For what room this is for, I have no idea. And of all aisles they walk by... Oh, the, no, not the toy aisle. It's the toy aisle. And, ah. and this little girl wanted this Frozen doll so bad. It's like a life-size Frozen doll. It's like a kid-size Frozen doll, nonetheless. And her dad didn't want to buy it. So she said, you know what? I'm going to steal this. And she said, just be quiet. We're taking it home. <laughs> and, and as she dragged it through each aisle, and as she was dragging it through the door, she was going to take it home with her. That's an adorable crime. Yeah, the youngest shoplifter in existence. Ah. <laughs> Speaking of babies, baby dolls, and whatnot, cute things, I have the cutest and scariest thing the internet's ever seen, and it's just proof that Japan comes up with some of the weirdest stuff. It's a heavy metal slash K-pop slash weird, well, it's actually J-pop, my bad, somebody's gonna kill me in the comments section, um, video, and to really show you just how crazy this video is, you have to put on closed captioning. Once you put on closed captioning, you will see just how insane <laughs> it is. But even if you don't, the stark contrast between the J-pop, the the you know the, the girls singing, and then this guy with his <laughs> you know, exactly like how it 80 is. year yes. smoker cough voice, yeah. like oh. But it, it, it's worth a watch. Go spam them in the comment section. Hashtag rehash. Let them know they've gotten the Freedom Family hug. Indeed. And then you've got to think of new. All right. So PewDiePie last year made about four million USD. Holy crap! It's quite a bit of money. So uh, anyway, the uh, article was published. I think it was a few days ago, and it went absolutely viral via Reddit, Facebook, Twitter, all social media platforms. And as a YouTube content creator, it isn't really something that you want to show with the whole world. It's not something we usually talk about because really it's more about the, the video. Yeah. Exactly. So not only that, but people aren't, you know, talking about how he raised over one million dollars for charity. Yeah. People are talking about that, but at the same time we're talking about how much money he generates on his content. So nonetheless, he created a video discussing how much money he made, why it really shouldn't affect anybody else, and that they should just enjoy the videos. It's it's what he enjoys doing. Nobody else should be, you know, really bothered by it. Look, here's the thing about the, the PewDiePie video, and I did see that. Yeah. I didn't see the article that said, but I saw the PewDiePie video. And he, you know, though he kind of dances around it, he, the point that I think that he's trying to make is that he would be, like, whether he was selling hot dogs or just, you know, or, or making YouTube videos, he's just as happy. The, right. the money doesn't, you know, it's, it's that he's fulfilled. Well, something that really bothered me the most is the fact that they are covering how much money the guy raises for charity, like, each and every year. It's well, just, it's astounding. And, 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 and I get that, and, you know, like, he's done some stuff for a lot of really nice charities, and, you know, he he's a, an unstoppable force on YouTube, yeah. okay? There's no denying that. But I, I love the fact that he's, in, in the video, so grounded 
He, I mean, he is the YouTuber that we, we all... aspire to be. Yeah. yeah. You know, uh, fame, success, sure. Just where's the camera? Let me do some silly stuff and entertain people. Like, basically, that's the message I got. Yeah. And I gotta say, Pewds, look, you're awesome, dude. Anytime you want to call up, you want to collab, I don't care about money. I don't care about fame. It doesn't even have to ever make yeah, you. Maybe you want to be like spotlit on rehash, maybe. You, you, you want to be cool and just hang out? Call me up, bro. <laughs> I don't care how much money you do or don't make. Just let's hang out, bro. Yeah. All right. And then, um, any more stories? Yeah, yeah the, the little news stuff, whatever, didn't you? Did I? Did no. You? No. I... No, because I talked about the HS. Did all of them. I talked about the, the, the Time Warner Kill thing. I talked about the. Um, the other the thing? Lady Baby? Lady Baby, and then it's it. Okay, yeah, I got recovered at all. Yeah. Alright, so hopefully we did that really quickly. Now, on to the, the comments! Comment number one comes from Building Realism, who says, Why don't I have a hundred thousand subs? Freedom is not helping me grow. Arg, freedom is noob! To that, I say, um, actually, you're sitting at about 3,000 subscribers, and I, I think you're doing a really good job. Oh, wait, what's this? JK, I already have 100k subs. Okay, never mind. I was wrong. My bad. Okay. Does he really have 100,000 subscribers? I don't know. Yeah. Maybe on a different channel. I don't know. Comment number two, which is just pretty cool, too. You've come from Anthony Plays. Is that your channel by chance? I officially have no extra channels. Okay. So he says, best news source all day. Thank you. Thank you. We're the best fake news show ever. Ever, yeah. To ever exist on YouTube. Thank that, that's you. a pretty huge statement. And I got one more! Okay. Comment number three comes from XX Code Boss Gaming. We've been featuring his comments a lot lately. But he comments really good comments. He does, he yeah. does. Somebody else step up and take his crown. Because it was Ooh. Dissectra for a while, now it's this guy. Somebody needs to start giving us better comments, you know what I'm Okay, anyway, he says, guys, the rehash logo is missing from the thumbnail. Thank you so much for noticing. Actually, I, I kind of threw that thumbnail together. Normally our, um, our in-house editor, Potato, he, he does the thumbnails. Uh, unfortunately, he was uh, indisposed today, so I had to whip something up really quick. Um, I think so it turned out pretty good. I think it turned out good, but I didn't have the little splashy thing to put in the corner. So, uh, I, I do apologize about that. So, um, please please try to bear with us. Yeah. Um, and also, uh, yeah, we now get to talk about the... Uh, Barnes! What life? D Manic, who is currently sitting at 324 subscribers, provided our intro today. In fact, if you'd like to have a spotlight like this one, just fill out the form in the description and you too can be um, talked about. Now, D Manic um, has actually a really cool rap channel. Now, um, when I first, no, I will be honest, when I first clicked on this channel, my very first thought was did Kevin Federline have a clothing line? <laughs> that was my first thing. But after that, after I got to listening, after I got to watching, um, that faded away. And, you know, uh, once the stereotype of the stereotypical white rapper faded away, um, I, I was pleasantly surprised. Um, he's got really good um, lyrical um, talents. Yeah. Talents, good timing, good, um, good composure. Um, I, and this is little known fact, I actually enjoy rap music, um, and I, I, I like it. Um, See, if I may chime in, the only thing, I mean, I, I, I like the guy's shit overall, but the thumbnails, they're amazing, like, they're, they're, like for once, I don't, I don't have to complain about thumbnails, like, they're perfect thumbnails, they're perfect. Yep, so D-Maniac, what I would tell you to do is to have a proper channel trailer. Right now you have one of your music videos, which is great and all. But I really feel that if you directed something toward your oncoming audience, that that would really, really help you. Uh, I also feel like um, you have this great on-camera and even on-mic presence that you're not utilizing to its full potential. Now I wish that I could sit here and I could uh, put that into further words, but really it's just one of those things that I think that you're in the process of finding yourself, and you're not there fully yet. Um, I, I'm floored, and I did, in fact, subscribe today. So, check out his channel, Freedom Family. Hit him up with hashtag rehash. And that pretty much brings us to the end of our episode. Yep, yeah, I agree. All right, till next time, don't forget to like, subscribe, and do all those things that make us love our jobs. 
Also, be awesome to yourself and amazing to each other. See you guys later. Bye, Freedom Family.